Okay, hi everyone. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to download example templates for the latest lab from GitHub. So this is the GitHub page where you'll find a download link for the zip file. That zip file will have uh, a couple of different sections to it. There's the Arduino section up there for part B, and then in parts A and part B, the Java uh, files that are found right here. So what we want to do is start up a new uh, program or a new project in IntelliJ where we'll import the serial port service.java file and we will update the main.java file in a JavaFX project. So here I've opened up the serial port service.java file and I've opened it up in, in a different text editor just so I can select the text I want. And now I'm going to start a new project in IntelliJ. So we're going to choose uh, JavaFX just like we normally would. And in this case, it's JavaFX. Um, well, well, we'll set it up to 14, but we'll do that in a second. Um, so this is going to be lab H part A. I'm going to set it up in a new window like this. And I'm going to go into the source folder right here, and I'm going to start a new class. That class will contain the serial uh, service methods, or class, sorry. All right, so we're going to start a new class. We're going to call it serial port service and it'll have the Java extension as the file name, but the class doesn't have a .java in there. It's just like that. So it sets up the file. Now I'm gonna copy in the lines from the part I downloaded. I kept the package sample because that's what, um, what JavaFX sort of defaults to. Now there are other ways of, of importing these files uh, through the files that are provided in the zip file, you can do that as well. I'm just using the older method for, for setting this up, but if you want to use the files that are incorporated directly, you can do so. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my JavaFX. This time I'm going to use JavaFX 15, but you can also probably use 11. It should work. I've tested out more or less, and it seems to have worked pretty well. I'm also going to bring in jserialcom as com.facecast colon uh, jserialcom. I'm going to take 2.62 as the version and I'm bringing this in through Maven. Okay, so this is through the library's uh, import feature in IntelliJ. So I'm gonna link this into the um, the part A of the, the lab project that I'm doing here. So next I'm gonna overwrite most of what's in the main file, the main Java file. So I'm gonna open in a separate text editor, the main.java file, and I'm gonna copy in everything from sort of line three on, and I'm gonna bring it in. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing, line three on, I copy and paste it, and there we go. So we have it in there. And I also have to set the uh, run configuration for this. I'm copying it from a different project from before. That's my VM options right there. That's the uh, VM run, run configurations. But you could also bring it in from the IntelliJ site that shows you for uh, JavaFX 11, the one line that you have to bring in, and you have to modify the path to your JavaFX library. Or for JavaFX 15, you have to copy in the two different um, bits um, from that page. Either way, I'm just copying it in from my old file. I just copied it in directly here. It's got all, all the, uh, the modification that needed to happen in there already. Now I'm going to compile it just to make sure that it works. And I'm going to run it. And you should see, a like me, a window pop up with a slider and then a space for a label beside the slider or be, yeah beside the slider and then um, there'll be a text box and a button beside the text box this will allow us to take a look at uh, how to modify the text field the buttons and the slider values which we will later incorporate into a, a project that uh, talks to the arduino okay so there you go there's my slider right there there's the text field text box and when i type stuff in there it lights up the uh, the button, okay? So that's basically how we bring in the stuff from, from GitHub. You're gonna have to make some modifications in here and the to-do parts that are highlighted in these template files are really where you should be focusing your attention on that. Okay, and that's discussed a little bit more in the other videos. There's also part B with a main file and you can, you can copy that in to create a new uh, main.java within your next project and uh, you can see it's about the slider and there's also a to-do in here as well that you have to do for your lab. All right. 
Finally, it's important to point out that there is an Arduino file for part B. You can find it in that folder right there. And here I'm opening it up again in the, uh, in the, in the uh, text editor. And you can see that it's got um, the driver for the OLED display. There's the serial read function that's really important right here. And, uh, and there's the display to the OLED as well. And that'll be the key part of the Arduino. Mm -hmm.